Today we are providing a solution for a major retail company in North America that wants to increase warehousing capacities due to higher production and demand for its products. Today's customer structure looks like this. Different circle sizes represent the importance that each customer has on the basis of certain KPIs. Currently they distribute everything from the production where they have a warehouse within it. The main questions to be answered in order to choose optimal warehouses. How many warehouses the company needs, where should they be located and how big should they be? To answer these questions we'll use Network Design App, number one tool to calculate the optimal number of locations of your warehouses. Alright, to get started let's import external data. Here we have detailed information about the company's factories, warehouses, customers. In every table, cells marked with red color are mandatory to fill, while green color ones are optional. Therefore, when importing external data, please make sure to add these red mandatory columns. In the first five columns, you need to write information about your factory's location. Here, fill in maximum truck capacity regarding the weight. Here goes a maximum truck capacity regarding the volume. Fill in the costs per kilometer for the first distance unit. In this column, fill in the cost per kilometer for the 1000 distance unit. Here you should fill the cost for the half full truck. In the warehouses sheet you should put data about your warehouses. In the first six columns enter data regarding your warehouses names and locations. In fixed column if the warehouse should be in every scenario enter 1 to mark it as fixed but if the algorithm can decide by its own type in 0. In the next four columns, enter minimum and maximum capacities regarding the warehouse's weight and volume. Here fill in the fixed warehouse's costs. In the following two columns, enter costs per weight and volume unit. Next two steps are to fill in maximum track capacity regarding the weight and volume. Here, write down the cost per kilometer for the first distance unit. Finally, fill in the cost per kilometer for the 1000 distance unit and the cost for half full truck. In the customer section, the first six columns are about your customer's name and location. Next, fill in the average weight and average volume of shipment that goes to this customer. Here you should put the total number of shipments that customer receives. In the last two columns you could enter the factory that delivers to the customer and the maximum allowed distance from the assigned warehouse. The next step is to jump right into our tool. Welcome to our app's portfolio. Let's go to Network Design App. Ok, before you start calculating, clicking on this icon you can read more about this app. Here you can choose desired input format, addresses or latitude longitude coordinates. Now in order to do calculations we need to connect these tables to our app. As you can see, simply click on the link symbol, select the relevant table and press OK. Let's do calculations now. Set up the parameters first. In this case, minimum and maximum number of warehouses needed and click calculate. Awesome! In output data we have all results. Let's export all to new sheet. In the first table, we have the optimal number of warehouses needed, their names and locations.
Factory warehouse assignment table shows which warehouse is assigned to which factory and their relation details. Customer warehouse assignment table shows which customer is assigned to which warehouse and their relation details. You can also use these results for further analysis. At the end the most interesting part comes, visualization of the results. Visualize them on the map or on the dashboard. Looks nice, right? Fully customizable and interactive map. Enjoy! On the dashboard you have various charts and analysis that you can further use for different purposes. Today we answered the following questions. How many warehouses the company needs? Where should the warehouses be located? How big the warehouses should be? We also provide information regarding factory warehouse assignment and regarding customer warehouse assignment. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed.